You make me sound like such a princess. You're just an avid indoorsman. We're going camping. Yay! Glam so, camping. So here's what we're gonna do. We have two nights back to back, and one night is at what is called a glamping resort. We'll see what that's like. And <laughs> take you guys along on that. So that should be interesting, but it looks fun. And then we're actually going to like go up into the middle of nowhere and go like real camping. Well, when we say middle of nowhere, like an established campground in a canyon, not like roughing it, Boy Scout style. Well, no, but like the first place has like luxury tents with like four we'll have beds. A king, we'll have a king size bed. A king size and bed. And the boys will each have their own bed. And like they they make the fires for you. Yes. They provide free beach cruiser bicycles and like all kinds of things. It's ridiculous. So that should be fun. And then we're gonna like go to a campground and actually camp where we have to make our own fires. Right. Like heathens. Oh, also, quick story time. We went and dropped off some excess clothing at our local um, Deseret, Industries. Deseret Industries, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's like the Mormon version of Goodwill. So we dropped off a big box of clothes and I happened to have the vlogging camera in my hand while I was carrying the box. The very camera he's recording. You. This exact camera, which was kind of expensive. And I that was, was not paying yeah. attention and he donated the camera. I donated the camera to Deseret Industries <laughs> right before our trip. And so I'm like, where's the camera? We need to start vlogging. And then I realized that I didn't have it. And then I realized that I probably donated. accidentally donated it to a thrift store. Which would have been a great find for someone if it had oh, made it through. Oh my god. But I would have cried. They probably cried. would have been so scarred by the footage that's on that camera. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, <Anyways. laughs> cutting that out. Uh, join us on our camping slash glamping adventure. Come along, it'll be fun. Yay! knowledge. Bear Lake has a uniquely blue color and it has to do with the mineral that is in the lake water that gives it such a blue. So blue that they call it the Caribbean of the West. Um, is that true? That is true. On a golf cart. So apparently when you go glamping you get a golf cart to take you to your tent. <laughs> Our luxury glamping tent. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Come on in. We we'll got a little. We we'll got the little fire extinguisher. There's a little fire extinguisher. A little tiny fire extinguisher. Hey, look, it's a busher. It's so chic. Ouch! Not very this is so fun. <laughs> We're gonna try our hand at roping. <laughs> yeah, not quite, but try again. There you go, pull it tight. <laughs> That's a sheep. Do you have fun? Mm -hmm. Good. I am so glad that you're here with me. Well, thank you for the kisses. I'm so glad you came. I'm going to have the tent. Oh, okay. There's tent. the tent. And there's a campfire. There don't is, you? yeah. I'm warming my hands up. My favorite thing about glamping is 
get that we get to go to a cafe in the morning. <laughs> He's looking forward to that. <laughs> and that we don't have to light our own fire. Other I people do like that. <laughs> what do you like about glamping? And staying what? Marshmallows. <laughs> yep, free marshmallows. So, I am appropriately clothed. <laughs> Long johns and a cheesy hat. And, and boots. Boots. <laughs> I'm not with her. <laughs> Glamping so far. Um, I'm into it. I'm so Seriously. into it. Seriously. When we were ready for the campfire, we just we called the, the front desk. We called the campfire valet. Yes. Which is a thing here also. <laughs> so you literally don't have to do anything for yourself. If you want an experience of being in the great outdoors. Without all the work. Without having to do any of the work yourself. Then this is for you. <laughs> Meaning this is for me. <laughs> I This glamping is really like a perfect middle ground for Rob and I because I love outdoors. I love camping. I love the outdoors too. I just prefer like a cabin. Uh, finding some nice middle ground where Rob can sleep in a king size bed and it's super comfy too. Not have to do any work. Well, you I make me to... sound like such a princess. You're just an avid indoorsman. I am. I okay. <laughs> just because I don't like doing the work doesn't mean I don't know how and I'm incapable. I have my Eagle Scout. I could survive. I did the wilderness survival merit badge. I, I never meant to say that you couldn't do any of those things. I it's just that when capable. you're on, when you're camping, you're you're on vacation and you don't want to work. No, when you're on vacation, you don't want to work, so don't go camping. Good morning from the glamp ground. How did everybody sleep? Good. Good? Good. It was amazing to sleep in these really nice beds and yet be camping. Did you have any words to share? Uh, 7.45 and I want to sleep more. Now we're going to go try out the fancy hipster restaurant. We're going to ride some bikes. Check out the lake. We are gonna go rafting in it. Get it? Rafting. <laughs> Left the glamour behind. No more glamour. I'm trying to convince myself. It's not glamorous. glamorous. Found Rob's glamour. What do you think of our campsite? Glamorous. Hey, no, it is not glamorous. glamorous. That is the point. Glamour, glamour, glamour. There is just a rusty old table. Not rusty, but like falling apart. And the fire ring. Fun fact. I used to come here camping all the time when I went to college at Utah State University. There is my lumber sexual hard at work. I used to be a big proponent of the teepee method, but the last time I tried that it didn't work very well. So we're gonna go with the log hat, and especially when you have big logs like this, it's easier to, <laughs> poop joke. children to work. Rob just asked me if I remember to bring the spatula and I forgot. So maybe not pancakes? Mommy, 
This is our luxurious accommodations for the night. I'll give you a tour. Hey, through the window. Look at the decoration. There's our twin size or full size air mattress. And that's best. There's our floatable cooler and, and the floatable cooler lid for the boys to sleep on. So unlike the glamp ground, our campground did not have outlets or anywhere uh -huh. to charge things. So our camera died, but yeah. here is the end. 10 out of 10 would recommend glamping. Maybe like six out of 10 would recommend camping. Oh, I love camping. <laughs> anyway. And it's so fun though. And so, we had a good yeah. trip. Thanks for watching and... If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from us, subscribe and comment down below on whether you prefer camping or glamping. Bye. Bye.